25 Strange Phobias You May Not Know You Have When was the last time you felt terrified? Maybe you were walking in the dark and heard a strange noise right behind you. Or lightning and thunder were raging all night. Or you were on that airplane ride and the weather was pretty rough. We all fear something. Our hearts start beating like crazy. We sweat and tremble, run out of breath, and sometimes even have a full-blown panic attack. Hit thumbs up if you're afraid of something. It's okay to admit it. While most people's fears are easy to explain, and they can avoid scary situations by turning on the light or avoiding unleashed dogs, some fears are something different. Life is much more challenging when you are afraid of buttons or falling in love. Here's a list of 25 bizarre and unique phobias you won't believe exist. Number 25. Acrivophobia Acrivophobia is the fear of not being able to understand what you're reading at the moment. The name of this phobia is built from two Greek words, acrivo, which means know for sure, and phobos, fear. Sometimes it can even be a sign of schizophrenia when patients complain that the phrase breaks up into words and individual syllables. Like many other fears we'll talk about today, this one is most definitely rooted in childhood memories. Maybe a person was often laughed at for being a slow learner. Many of us will agree it is hard to understand a geometry textbook, though. Number 24. Hexacosi hexaconda hexophobia. Those who fear number 666, the number of the beast, have hexacosi hexaconda hexophobia. Where does this name come from? Ancient Greek words hexacosi, 600, hexaconda, 60, and hexi, 6, were put together with phobia to build it. If you've seen the honking episode of Futurama, you have an idea of what it looks like. Bender was afraid of the symbols 01011001101, which stands for 666 in the binary system reflected in the mirror. Many people prefer to avoid having 666 in their address. Ronald Reagan and his wife Nancy, for example, had their house number changed to 668 from 666 when they moved to Bel Air, Los Angeles. Some people block channel 666 from their cable TV list. Others will drive around the neighborhood just to change the odometer number from 666 to 667. Where does this fear come from? Many people believe everything happens for a reason. They find connections between coincidental events. Maybe they rang a phone number ending in 666 and broke their leg the same day. This fear might also be genetic. Number 23. Hippopotamo monstro sesquipedialophobia. This phobia is so hard to pronounce, it speaks for itself. Hippopotamo monstro sesquipedaliophobia is the fear of long words. People who suffer from it most definitely failed in a spelling bee competition as kids. Or maybe something else not so terrible happened to them. Let's try to make this word a bit less scary by breaking it down in parts. Hippo means horse in Greek, and potamos means river. So the first part translates as water horse, also known as hippopotamus. In the Oxford Dictionary, a similar word, hippopotamine, is used to refer to something very large. The word monstra has Latin origin and means something that is huge or terrifying. Sesquipedalio is also derived from Latin and means measuring a foot and a half long. Phobia is the easy part. We know it means fear. If you watched Mary Poppins, you probably had fun trying to repeat supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, a word that has 34 letters in it. Well, it must have been a scary experience for those who fear any word longer than beautiful. What would probably be a nightmare vacation for such people is a trip to this place. You can try to pronounce it. We failed somewhere between Rajathani and Udom. This place in Thailand has 163 letters in its name. Number 22. Gnosophobia. Gnosophobia is the fear of knowledge. Gnosis means knowledge in Greek. It is also known as epistemophobia. Knowledge is power, and some people are afraid of being too powerful. They will most likely avoid visiting a library, reading books at home, watching TV, 
or learning new things from the internet. Why? Well, in many cases, they are afraid to find out about a certain disease they might have from a medical book. They also feel scared they won't be able to spread the word if they read about something dangerous. 70% of gnosophobes live in large cities. This phobia is also typical for feral kids who grew up outside of human society. Number 21. Hydrosophobia Hydrosophobia is a fear of sweating and catching a cold or a fear of becoming a source of unpleasant odor. The word consists of two parts of Greek origin. Hydroso means I sweat and phobia stands for fear. In some extreme cases, hydrosophobes also fear other people's sweat. Those who have this phobia probably envy the birds, rabbits, and pigs. Why? Because they don't sweat. Number 20. Dextrophobia Dextrophobia is the fear of objects on the right side of the body. The word dextro in its name is of Latin origin and means to the right. The reason for this fear is obsessive-compulsive personality. Have you ever met people who are obsessed with order at their office desk and keep all their stuff strictly to their left? In that case, you have met a dextrophobe. People with dextrophobia also find it hard to move into the left lane when driving if they see a vehicle on the right side. They are often laughed at because of their unusual habits, which causes social anxiety in them. Number 19. Dorophobia the holiday season must be a real nightmare for those who experience dorophobia. This term is used to define the fear of receiving or making gifts. The Greek word for gifts is doron, so this is where the name of this phobia comes from. The roots of this phobia are, again, in childhood memories. Some families can afford expensive gifts, others can't. It leads to conflicts, complexes, and reproaches. Some dorophobes still can't beat those early memories of being mocked and would rather avoid gifts as adults. Number 18. Kumpunophobia People who have kumpunophobia try to avoid clothes with buttons. For them, even the thought, mention, or sight of buttons can cause an anxiety attack. The word kumpunophobia is of Greek origin. Kumpuno means beans, as the ancient Greeks used beans instead of buttons. Nearly 1 in 75,000 people have this phobia. It was well shown in Neil Gaiman's horror novel Coraline, which was adapted into a movie. The lead character developed kumpunophobia in a parallel world where evil characters, looking like her parents, had black buttons instead of eyes. Yikes! Some kids in real life may have choked on buttons or were abused by someone wearing clothes with buttons. They grow up into adults who have to avoid weddings or proms just not to see all those people in tuxedos and coats with buttons. In very extreme cases, kumpunophobes are even afraid of writing down the word buttons. Number 17. Lacanophobia Lacanophobia is the fear of vegetables. The name comes from Greek lachaniko, meaning vegetables. People who suffer from it cannot stand the sight or smell of vegetables. Next time you force your kids to eat broccoli, remember you can be the reason they develop a phobia. It can also happen if they see caterpillars or worms on vegetables. Kids have a rich imagination, and some imagine they can turn into a caterpillar themselves if they eat the affected vegetable. Number 16. Nephophobia Instagram, with all its hashtag no filter sky pictures, is a scary place for those who have nephophobia. It is the fear of nephos, clouds in Greek, both in real life and in photos. Over time, it can take other forms and transform into fear of fog or even air. Imagine how hard it is for these people to fly or simply go out of the house. This phobia is often a result of traumatic events of the past or genetics. Number 15. Omphalophobia. Omphalophobia is the fear of belly buttons. The name is built of Greek words omphalo, meaning navel, and phobia. You must be wondering, what is wrong with belly buttons? They might look like a knot in a balloon, but why fear them? Well, a belly button is often associated with a navel string and the mother's womb. Some people falsely believe that playing with their belly button and accidentally tapping it can kill you. People with this fear try not to touch their belly button when taking a bath. 
Some of them even cover it or put a plaster on it for protection. And they avoid going to the beach. Just imagine all those belly buttons in one place. Number 14. Ombrophobia Rain might seem like a good meditation tool for many people, but not to those who have ombrophobia. Yes, it is the fear of rain, which is ombros in Greek. People who suffer from it never miss a weather report. Even the thought of rain or a mention of it in the forecast makes them anxious. When the first raindrops fall, they get a panic attack and seek shelter. You can say it is a normal human reaction, but not everyone is terrified out of their mind at the sight and sound of rain. It probably does not make your heart beat fast and your whole body tremble. This fear most often comes from childhood. Traumatic events of that time or being told by parents that rain would get you sick can be the reason of ombrophobia. Number 13. Pentherophobia Pentherophobia is the fear of mother-in-law. The panthera part of this phobia's name does not stand for panther. It means mother-in-law. The tensions between a man and his mother-in-law might be a popular subject of jokes, but pentherophobia is no joke for those who experience it. Related phobias are vitrisophobia, fear of your stepfather, noversophobia, fear of your stepmother, and sociophobia, fear of your parents-in-law. If your husband seems to be very afraid of your mother, don't blame him. This fear is most definitely genetic or comes from seeing someone experience it on TV or in movies. Number 12. Pogonophobia Pogonophobia is the fear of beards. Pogon means beard in Greek and phobos is fear as we know. Has your mother ever told you to never trust a man with a beard or facial hair unless he is Santa Claus? In fact, most fairy tale villains have beards. Take Bluebeard, for example. It is one of the reasons kids who were scared of them grow into pogonophobous adults. Newsnight presenter Jeremy Paxman even accused the BBC of being pogonophobic when they wanted him to shave off his beard. Number 11. Papathophobia Papathophobia is the fear of the Pope, or Papas in ancient Greek, as it stands in the name. It is quite a rare phenomenon, closely related to herophobia, fear of priests or holy things. While many people dream of seeing the Pope, St. Peter's Square in the Vatican is a place to avoid for all papathophobes. Number 10. Trypophobia Trypophobia is the fear of cluster of holes. The name consists of Greek tripa, meaning hole, and phobos, meaning fear. Honeycombs, barnacles, corals, Freshly bloomed lotus pods make thousands of people who suffer from this phobia freak out. They see danger in all those little holes. Trypophobia plays a key part in American horror story, Cult, latest season. The main character, Allie Mayfair Richards, is scared of some holes in her souffle and a coral in her therapist's office. She feels like they are staring at her. Number 9. Herophobia. Herophobia from Greek hero, meaning to be pleased and joyful, is the fear of laughing in an inappropriate environment, for example, at a funeral. That can happen when your body is trying to protect you by a manifestation of joy in a shocking situation. You might get this phobia if you were often told laughing in a similar situation is a terrible thing to do or punished for it as a kid. Number 8. Chronophobia Chronophobia is the fear of time which is chronos in Greek, hence the name. People who suffer from it cannot enjoy life to the fullest as they are focused on the flow of time. We all know we cannot stop it or go back, but some of us find this idea unbearable. Older people and prisoners tend to suffer from chronophobia more often. They view time differently, but it is tragical for both. The most famous of all chronophobic stories is Rip Van Winkle. He once took a nap and woke up 20 years later, when all his friends and family were dead. He overcame chronophobia as he made new friends and regained old memories. Maybe that can work in real life too. Number 7. Philophobia Philophobia originates from Greek philos, loving of beloved, and phobos for fear. People with philophobia avoid falling in love or having a relationship. When they feel like they are exposed to love, they try to run away as fast as they can. 
They also avoid watching romantic movies, attending weddings, and going to places where lovebirds usually gather. A life without love must be really torturing. Number 6. Deepnophobia Dining out with friends is something most of us look forward to. Those who have deepnophobia don't. It is the fear of dinner parties. The word deepnophobia was built up from Greek deepno, dining or dinner, and phobos for fear. A disastrous business dinner, a terrible setup or blind date, or being forced to have dinner with intolerable annoying people around. All these events from the past might lead to deepnophobia. The internet has given birth to a whole bunch of previously unknown phobias related to gadgets and social networks. Can you guess any of them? Click thumbs up if you think you have an idea of what we're talking about. Number 5. Punctumophobia, which has Latin punctum, meaning point in its name, is a fear of getting a message with a dot at the end. The absence of a smiley at the end of the line means that the conversation is too serious or that the other party answered too sharply. Number 4. Rhetorophobia is the fear of making a mistake in a word or not noticing an autocorrect. It comes from the Latin word rhetoro, meaning cross-reference. You have to double-check what you wrote several times. By the way, you can turn off autocorrect to make your life a little easier. Number 3. Emojiphobia is a fear of being misunderstood using emoticons or stickers. The person, in this case, is frightened of the fact that the cat or a winking face he sent was seen as something frivolous. Number 2. Selfiephobia is the fear of bad selfies. A person can go nuts trying to take a perfect shot of themselves. In fact, it can lead to sad consequences and accidents since people who take selfies don't notice any danger around them. Number 1. Ignorophobia is a fear that the message was viewed but not responded to. It is known to many of us. We think we did something wrong if the person we messaged says nothing back. Is there a way to get over any of these phobias? Popular treatment methods are all kinds of therapy, controlled breathing, and visualization. Remember, it is much easier to handle any concern if you fully understand why and what exactly concerns you most of all. If you like this video and want to know more about strange phobias, give us a thumbs up.